watching us right here on Facebook Live. If we get disconnected, make sure you download the app. Live 365. It's real easy. Go to your Google Play Store. Download it absolutely free. But I will try to keep refreshing the browser. Revolution Radio. Como la quieras bailar, pero bailala, como la quieras bailar. Como la quieras bailar, pero bailala, como la quieras bailar. Cumbia caliente para amanecer, para amanecer bailando de jalao. Cumbia caliente para amanecer, para amanecer bailando amasizao. Cumbia caliente para amanecer, para amanecer bailando pan de chao. Cumbia caliente para amanecer, para amanecer bailando despegado. Échale. Oh, sucia. Saludos para las tóxicas allá en San Antonio, Texas. Cuidadito, cuidadito. Porque es alegre y se baila sabroso A mí me gusta esta cumbia caliente Porque es alegre y se baila sabroso Como la quieras bailar, pero bailala Como la quieras bailar Como la quieras bailar, pero bailala Como la quieras bailar Como Cumbia caliente para amanecer Para amanecer bailando de jalao Cumbia caliente para amanecer, para amanecer bailando amasizao Cumbia caliente para amanecer, para amanecer bailando apanichao Cumbia caliente para amanecer, para amanecer bailando despegao Sexy lady
estás conmigo Unas sensaciones de gran pasión De amor por ti amorcito Mis sensaciones están llenas de amor Pasión y mil caricias Las siento en mi alma por toda la piel En fondo de mi corazoncito Qué sensaciones me das Cuando me besas tú a mí Qué sensaciones me pegan Por ti, por ti, solo por ti Qué sensaciones me das cuando me abrazas mi amor y cuando me acaricio en tus manos me llenas de sensaciones qué sensaciones siente mi corazón ahorita que estás conmigo unas sensaciones de gran pasión de amor por ti amorcito ¿Qué sensaciones me das cuando me besas tú a mí? ¿Qué sensaciones me pegan por ti, por ti, solo por ti? ¿Qué sensaciones me das cuando me abrazas mi amor y cuando me acaricias en tus manos? Me llenas de sensaciones, ¿qué sensaciones sienten? Estás conmigo, unas sensaciones de gran pasión, de amor por ti, amorcito. Of Emilio Nevada, right here on Revolution Radio DFW.com. Playing the best in Tejano music and mucho más. It's happening right here. Once again, right about this time. We got a special shout out, dedication going out to Jordan. Que pasa descanse one year. Yesterday. We got the sad news. Shout outs going out to EJ out there in. Uh, San Antonio, I know it's hard for you, but sabes que we're here for you. We love you. Que en paz descanse Jordan. This song's going out to him and to you.
soltaré Te busqué En el norte y en el sur Out there in San Antonio, Texas, can pass his cancer, Jordan. One year, but it's okay. He's doing good. Sending you big hugs, mamacita, masota, little shit. Out there in San Antonio, Texas, that's right. DJ Casper right here on Revolution Radio, DFW.com. Broadcasting live from Bishop Arts District right here in Oakland, Texas. Live exclusive interview with R.A. Canales and Grupo Extreme joining us here shortly. I hope he's bringing tacos. He better bring some tacos. Las miradas que te doy no más son para ti. Será porque te quiero. Las sonrisas que te doy son todas para ti. Será porque te quiero. Qué bonito es el amor. Cuando tú sabes que los dos se quieren tanto Las miradas que te doy no más son para ti Será porque te quiero Tú eres mi amor, mi única ilusión Que siempre he deseado Te voy a hacer feliz Estando junto a mí, estando tú a mi lado Las miradas que te doy, no más son para ti Será porque te quiero Las miradas que te doy, no más son para ti Será porque te quiero Las miradas que te doy no más son para ti Será porque te quiero Las miradas que te doy no más son para ti Será porque te quiero
deja que en mi pecho sea tu almohada al despertar Que la luz del día y la madrugada pueda brillar Para ver tus lindos ojos, para ver tu linda cara Después de una noche bella, déjame sentir así Deja que en mi boca bese tu boca al despertar Dar la bienvenida a un nuevo día después de amar Déjame sentir tu cuerpo, déjame seguirte amando, despertando hacia tu lado, déjame sentir así, amor, amor, amor querido, después de tanto querer. Yo siento frío Amor, amor Amor deseado No te arrepientas Que yo he soñado Con tu calor Amor, amor Amor Amor, amor, amor querido, después de tanto, quererte tanto, yo siento frío, amor, amor, amor deseado, no te arrepientas que yo he soñado con tu calor, amor, amor, amor querido, por ti he vivido y he conocido lo que es amar. Sounds of Ramiro Ram Herrera right here on Revolution Radio DFW.com. 24 minutes past the hour. You got Casper hanging out with you till 11 o'clock a.m. Waiting on Mr. R.A. Canales. All right. We should be pulling up here shortly. Let me find out they want to go eat without me. The sounds of Elida Yavante right here. Adicta. Keep it locked in. More great to hunt music and mucho más is happening right here on the all brand new morning show. Mornings, 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 right here, live from Dallas, Texas, Carlos, DJ Casper Vasquez. Muy buenos días, Gaby. ¿Cómo estamos? ¿Cómo estamos? ¿Cómo andamos? Como decía mi abuelo, andamos con los dos pies, mijo. Andamos con los dos pies. Saludos, con my good friend Gaby out there in Houston, Texas. Thanks for hanging out with us right here, Revolution Radio.
WTFW.com broadcasting live from Dallas, Texas. Right after this song, we have Mr. R.A. Canales with Grupo Extreme join us here in the studio, live on Facebook and our station at Live 365. mis palabras ella responde con su adiós cuando le hablo de mi amor mañana siempre pienso que mañana y mañana sin igual ella nunca cambiará Oh, 
music and the sounds, of course, Mr. Chente Barrera right here. Revolution Radio, DFW.com. Live in the studio right about this time. Let me see what we got, what we got, what we got. Okay. Okay, let's start this over. That's already the end of the interview. <laughs> here we go. I just, I just get excited because I have people here at my place and... I'm usually lonely. Shouts going out to Mr. Ari Canales in the studio. Grupo Extreme. 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 Are you awake, bro? Uh, no. No. <laughs> You're like, oh, I'll be there shortly. I said, bro, take your time. I know a lot of people trip out because I do the early, uh, the early morning show. And everybody's like, bro, how, how do you get up? Sometimes I'm not, I don't even go to sleep. <laughs> From a long night of partying. Yeah, no, I'm just playing. Oh, man. <laughs> hey, check it out. Uh, once again, thanks for hanging out with us right here on Revolution Radio. Now I got to get professional. And, of, of course, thank you so much. Shout outs going out to uh, Miss Denise also hanging out with us here in the studio. Um, thank you for the donuts. Thank you very much. I got some fresh coffee over there. We need to wake up and get wired up and uh, get oh, our yeah. sugar rush, uh, rush going on. Big time. Big time sugar rush. So what's going on, brother? Long time no see. Yeah, right. Yeah, sure. Hello, yeah. uh, hell of a show you did, by the way, just uh, a couple weekends ago. Oh, thank you, thank you, man. You know, we always try to mix it up, you know, a little Tejano, a little country, a little R&B. You know, try to keep everybody happy, but, you know, that's impossible. But we try. Well, you know, this, this, this industry has been iffy, iffy, iffy. Even all entertainers in the industry, you know, people like us, people dislike us, but yet they, they still there and they like jam out to our music and stuff like that so i'm you know what at this point i can care less as long as they come out spend some money listen to some good tunes that's all that matters that's it man so ari canales you've been in this industry for some time Ooh, now a long long, long time, time. <laughs> and you come from a family a musical uh family background as well a lot of people you know this is what I stated last time when we had Ray Rain in the studio. They, a lot of people, the, the newer generation, are the ones that are now taking over the, the nightclub scene. The handle music is, is still there, but they listen to the artists, but they don't know the history. That's true. They don't know the history, and so fortunately for me, I, I, I got this connection with all of you guys, and now that I'm using this platform through Revolution Radio, I get to invite you guys and then also showcase you, know, you the artists, especially here in the city of Dallas. And so... Our, unfortunately, our Dallas um, artists are not acknowledged mu uh, uh, as much. Um, I, don't, I don't, you know, and I can say honestly, I don't see no other radio stations taking the time and, and uh, interviewing you guys. You know, you guys are a big factor, you know, in the Tejano music industry here in the city of Dallas. Yes, we are. And and it's sad that there's only limited amount of venues that only want to support certain bands that is so true that uh, sometimes I get really really frustrated about that because you know all local bands I mean any local bands here in DFW I, you know I know their pains you know showing up early early to the gigs yeah. and leaving late at the gigs but yet you know no one really uh, the bigger so-called radio stations uh, kind of overlook us for years and years and years even though we put in probably harder we probably put in more time and more energy in our music than the bigger bands but you know props to them they've made it you know they i i give you know i enjoy listening to all those bigger bands i mean it, you know i myself personally i know what i go through uh, on gigs and working hard to get gigs and especially with the health issues that you've had oh yeah especially here within the last what three to four years um you know you you've been laid out completely bro like you're here and next thing you know you're out of it and you're here but when it comes to music i don't know how you get re-energized and and you get out there that's the key word music bro the music is what keeps me going um it's in me it's been Generations and generations and generations, like you were talking about my roots. Uh, Let's talk about that. You know, you, you come from a, a, the Canales name. Yes. And, and a lot of people don't realize to connect y you with. Yeah, and, and that's part kind of my fault, too, because I really don't 
push that Johnny Canales is my uncle, a lot of Canales is my cousin. So tell us about that because there's a lot of listeners tuning in right now, and they're probably listening to this for the first time. They're they're hearing it for the first time. Right. So you're actually related to Johnny Canales. Yes, sir. He is my tío, tío Johnny. That's how I, all I know him by is tío Johnny. Okay. Um, but yeah, he is, you know, an icon beyond recognition. I mean, I've seen a lot of people being introduced to the Tejano roots, mm -hmm. but never my uncle. Uh, at the Tejano Music Awards, never mentions of my uncle Johnny. Yeah, you're exactly so right. So I kind of feel like like he does sometimes. You know, you, you, you work and 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 no no response back. In, but yeah, my, you know, my great-grandfather, my dad's dad, you know, my dad is my uncle Johnny. My dad's the oldest. Okay. Of <laughs> ten boys, ten girls. Wow, <laughs> a large, large family. Wow. I got a lot of uncles, a lot of aunts, and now I got tons of cousins. But, but getting back to the story, my great, great, my great grandfather, and my dad, and my uncle Johnny. Well, actually, my great grandfather had the first. I guess you could call it in Mexico. I guess it wasn't Tejano, but it was. He introduced the accordion. Into the music way back then uh, in the 1930s. So that's basically conjunto, right? Basically, that's where conjunto actually it's, came from. Yeah. Um, one day I'm going to write a book. <laughs> um, but from there, my grandfather um, had a chance to come to Texas. So when they moved to Texas, they were they moved to Robstown, Texas, where is that the original home? That of the is Canales? the original home of. All the canalises. We all started there in Robstown, Texas. Home wow. of the cotton pickers. Okay. Uh, from there, when my Uncle Johnny was probably 11 or 12, my dad played the bass. My Uncle Johnny uh, pretended to play the guitar. Mm -hmm. Back then, he didn't know how to play guitar, but he looked really cute. So they would use him at the cantinas. They would go from cantina to cantina to cantina, you know, and uh, to make money. And it's, it's a funny story because every time I hear it, I, I kind of laugh. Because I can I can I can see my dad and I see my uncle Johnny, you know, in the older form because I've always looked up to them. Mm -hmm. But I can't even imagine being a small little kid singing in front of strangers, you know, every day, uh, going up and down Robstown, Texas. So you're saying you actually sang as a as a child? As a child, yes. Okay. But um, so this is more like a, another Selena story. Kind of, sort of, you know. You but, know, uh, started by the family. Yeah. She started very, at a very young age. Oh, yeah. I mean, I used to get so mad at my dad. I, I, really? I mean, oh, dude. My friends would be <laughs> playing football, and he, hey, get in the van, cover on. Yeah. We got to go. Yeah. But I want to play with my friends, dad. No. Yeah. Your friends ain't going to make you no money. Like, oh, okay, here we go. Yeah. So, you know, plus, I've always been in sound. You know I do sound. Yeah, yeah. So my dad didn't know much about sound, and so I was the... I guess the light guy, the engineer, the 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 muscle. I would I would load and unload. I remember being coming home so tired at night. So how, how young are you talking here? How old were you when you were eleven? Eleven. Eleven years old. Wow. Yeah, at the age of four. No, the age of thirteen. I actually played, and this is a funny, funny story, uh, Casper. I didn't realize I had played at the same clubs when I was little. Many, many years later, I ended up playing at Club Recess You're back in, in the day. Yeah, in Dallas. You're in Dallas. Okay. In Dallas. As I was playing drums, and I looked down, I see the checkered floor. And I'm like, oh, my God, I've been here before. I couldn't remember because I was so young playing with my dad. Okay. So I looked down, and I'm playing the drums. I'm playing the drums. I'm looking at this floor, and I keep looking over. And I'm like, holy crap. I played here when I was a kid. Wow. That's when it hit me. Like, wow. I, you know, because I, I enjoyed playing with my dad. My dad was real stern. He didn't like me doing double beats on the bass drum. He wanted just strip. I mean, just straight up conjunto. And me, I would mix it up because that's what I felt. I felt like I needed to play the way I play. And my dad would just give me those looks. I'm like, oh, crap. I'm going to hear this tomorrow. And uh, he would give me that look. It, 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 sometimes I did it on purpose just to 
that that's the look get, that you give to your guys. Yes, that, that's, that's, that's the one. Yeah, that's the one, huh? You, you notice, huh? Yeah, uh-huh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, it, and it's funny because when something like that hits you, you know, at a young age, you know, you're like, oh, man, it, weekends, you think, you finally finished school, you get to have fun with your friends. Yeah. No, not me. Nah. Get in the van, covered on. Oh, God. Dad. Shit, my dad used to tell me, hey, Get up. I'll go, why? Get your ass and go look for work. <laughs> you know? So, shit, I, yeah, we had them old school. But see, those old school values is what matters and pays off now. Yeah, because that's, that's made us the men that we are. Yeah, and I'm telling you, you know, even, you know, I've been doing this for years and years and years. I've always had my own band. I've never really played in another band, um, per se. I've always had my own band. But my dad, he put in my head a long time ago. Mijo, take care of your musicians, and your musicians will take care of you. And if they don't, then they need to go. Yeah. So I've always instilled that in my practices with the band. So, And people ask me all the time, man, Ari, how do you get so many musicians, so many good musicians? I'm like, well, first of all, you got to have, you know, a good standing with everyone. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. You, yeah. you must help everyone in this industry because that's what's wrong with Tejano these days. Yeah. Especially even the the local bands, we don't help each other, man. No, I try to. Uh, I, you know, you can ask anyone if you need a monitor, you need a light, you need microphone, whatever. You Guilty. Know. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> exactly. You're using your mic and your white right now. <laughs> oh dang! <laughs> this sure is my mic. What the heck? This one too. <laughs> oh man, yeah. see, see what I'm saying? Guilty. Guilty. <laughs> Guilty. But yeah, I mean, it, it's. It's crazy to me that we don't help each other, man. Yeah, it's very I see, unfortunate. I see these Mex- Mexican, I mean, I'm talking Mexicano bands. Yeah. And, man, they have, like, the best suits, the best in- equipment. And, you know, they may not sound that great, but... Presentation. Presentation. They all get along. They all help each other load and unload. Hint, 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 guys. Yeah. Um, But... I, you know, I kind of, I give him props. To be honest with you, I mean, I wish the Hunter was that way. I wish all the guys, local bands all around Dallas, Fort Worth. I wish we would get together and say, hey, you know, we all need to do this. We're all in the same boat. You know, we may be going down a different creek every now and then, but we're all in the same boat. And uh, to me, a lot of these clubs. You know they they book us and and we I I generally always tell the club owners um, how much I appreciate them yeah and, and I I'm so blessed to to get their uh, gigs from them uh, especially Robin Robin Rivetta man I'm telling this guy he, he's always come through for me um, I always give him props I always give him thank yous even after the day after the gig I, I send him a little text yeah, like, he, hey. yeah he tells me you know, like, thank you man often, yeah. I appreciate you um, and he's always giving me gigs and, and, and when someone takes care of you you need to take care of them so you know I always send him a, you know, a nice thank you um, it's just a nice, you know, something to do but uh, getting back to the family roots I, I kind of got thrown off no but, no you're good you're good you know um my uncle Johnny, as a little kid, even when I was playing with my dad, as a little kid, I was like maybe twelve. I used to run the light at uh, Salape Ballroom. Wow! At, yeah, I was little. My grandmother ran the kitchen, so she was. It was all family back then. My dad was doing promotions for Johnny Gonzalez, um, and doing the radio announcements on uh, Radio Kiss, La Fabulosa Kiss. Yeah. yeah. You know, um, and I remember I always enjoyed going with my dad to the radio station because it was it was like a whole new thing, man. It was yeah. cool because I got to meet so many musicians. I mean, the great ones. I mean, from Ruben Naranjo. I mean, he stayed at our house. Little Joe. Who's the first artist that you remember meeting? The first artist I ever remember meeting was Snowball. I don't know if you remember Snowball. Yeah, I got his music right here. Yeah. Um, which is J.B. Hernandez's dad. Yeah. Um, and me and J.B. are pretty close friends. He was the original drummer for Texas Latino. Okay. You know, so I, you know, I met so many, you know, my memory's gotten old, but 
I remember when being a kid in Sarape and I'd meet all these artists. And I kept telling myself, man, I'm, I want to be on that stage. Yeah. And I kept telling myself that, I'm, you know, I want to play, I want to play. So then, you know, as all young kids, we rebel against our parents. So I started playing R&B. Okay. You know, to my dad, it was black music. Yeah. Why are you playing that black music? You, you, and, and I know he didn't use that word, but yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> I'm trying to keep this nice. <laughs> Because my dad, oh boy, he was something else. We're keeping it real. <laughs> keeping it real. But, you know, I rebelled for a while. And then as I kept seeing these artists, you know, I saw how all these people reacted to them back then at the side of the ballroom. I mean, that place was, to me, because I was so little, that place was huge. I mean, it had rows and rows and rows and rows of chairs and tables, long tables. I mean, I can close my eyes right now and I'm there. That's, I mean, it was like, and to me, I didn't feel like it was a job. I mean, it was an adventure for me, man. Yeah. It was it was cool. And uh, I used to run the light with Ricky Gonzalez, which is Johnny Gonzalez's younger son. Okay. And uh, they took me under their wings and showed me how the, uh, the light worked. So a lot of my background was learning lighting and sound. I, mean, I got it from Zarape Ballroom. I'd get there. My dad would get there to open up for the bands, you know. They would open their trailer just like I do every weekend, and they would set up, do their little sound check, and I'd just watch them. And I'd watch them how they hook speakers up. And back then, I mean, the speakers were huge, heavy oh, coffins. Yeah. You know, they, they were <laughs> columns. They, they called them columns back yeah. then. They looked like Roman co columns. Yeah. But um, you know, it was interesting because I. I it was just that's always been me i've always like gotten into electronics even as a young 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 age yeah. you know and then i remember one time my uncle johnny played it was it was my uncle johnny augustine ramirez and little joe and me at i think i was 12 because i remember this day like yesterday my uncle johnny asked me to, to get on stage now this is johnny canales this right this is johnny canales y su orquesta orquesta okay so, he couldn't sing for crap, but he. But yeah, he, boy. But after know, a while, he. Yeah, he, he got better. Yeah, yeah. You know, but he, uh, uh, you know, got me on stage, and I got to play. You know, like, whoa, this was like playing for Johnny Carson, man. I mean, I was like, I was on top of the world that day. So, man. were you only a musician, or you also did you also sing? I used to sing a lot back then, um, and then just I don't know why I just stopped, man. I just. I decided to concentrate on just drums and mm -hmm. and then I have so much stuff going on because you know I set up I load I do the lights I, I have so much on my plate I still do backup vocals but I don't do lead vocals anymore um, I probably should but as much troubles I've had with certain singers uh, <laughs> in my past we, we won't go there right yeah now. we won't go there right now <laughs> but also I'm, I'm really blessed because I've had you know, I work you know Casper I work with so many musicians in my life even with my band yeah I mean vocal wise I mean Steve Diaz I uh, remember them days George Sarate from you know Grupo Lasso uh, I, you know I worked with Ray Reyna you yeah. know as you know uh, I've got a, a, a young man that I met a while back, he was a, such a phenomenal singer, Mike Rubio from Northside, from okay. Dim actually Diamond Hill. Uh, probably was one of my best vocalists, man. And you know, he uh, turned his life around, got Christ in his life, and, and you know, started singing for the Lord. Which, hey man, God bless him. You know, we still keep contacts. Uh, he moved to California, but you know, I had Elias Arredondo in my band. Mm -hmm. I've had so many people Gabe. in my life, man. You've had Gabe also recently. I've had Gabe Juarez. And uh, what was that other guy you used to have also? Uh, the one that made an ass of himself at me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, we won't go yeah, there. Yeah, we won't go there. We won't go there. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I, I try to forget the bad stuff, man. But uh, you well, know, see, I, that's what makes it better. Yeah. You know, is. you got to go through some bad, you know, bad apples in the barrel, you know, in, in order to to uh, be able to work around it and and, it, and it's very unfortunate because you come from a, a long line of of, uh, of a background of, of relatives in the industry and not just johnny canales but also laura canales laura canales man i i miss her so much um in fact the original reina the real yeah. the real real yeah deal. that's the original reina of la musica tejana yeah you know 
And, uh, of course, you know, Selena took over the torch. Yep. And uh, I think there hasn't been no other female but but uh, Laura and, and Selena to be able to make that kind of impact, uh, you know, as their role as a female artist of the Tejano music industry. Very true. And, you know, and Laura used to tell me, tell me stories, you know, that how a lot of the clubs shunned her, man. They just wouldn't hire her. They yeah. just would not hire her uh, until she's landed you know a couple of good hits then they're like oh you know she is somebody but you know right before she passed away we were just about to start the new band and she said hey you know i got this gallbladder problem i'm gonna get it fixed blah blah, blah. And we're like okay cool then we'll Is start that what she passed yeah off? so actually she died you know on the operating table unfortunately oh, okay. but um it was it was just a crazy thing because we were we were about to start. Uh, we had already done all the music. We were getting it all prepared. And she was at, at the peak of her career at yes. that time because uh, "Dile Tu Esposa" is one of her main hits. Yes, "Cuatro Caminos" Cuatro was Caminos a, was her was super hit. Yeah, uh, to this day, I mean, yeah. you know, every band. Every band has done it. David Lee, Jay Perez. And even the younger generation, like, of course, we had Alize Nino. Right. You know, she debuted with you as the backup band, you know, and uh, that was one of the songs that, that she sung, you know, was yeah. Cuatro Caminos. How did that feel, seeing a new artist so young to sing a song that, uh, well, Laura, is she your aunt or, or is she your cousin? She was my cousin. She was your cousin. Yes, okay. Cousin. So, yeah, I mean, when she started singing, you know, I, had, I, had, I ain't going to lie. I, I had a little tear in my eye. Yeah, I know you did. <laughs> I wanted to give you a hug, but I was too drunk. Cuando, digo cuando no. Yeah, so it, it was a uh, it was a treat for me to hear um, her sing that, and uh -huh. she did a really really good job. She's gonna be um, someone that you gonna yeah. you gonna. I'm telling, you, she's gonna make it. She, she has a lot she, of potential. She does. Um, I've talked to her, and I've talked to her mom in the last couple of weeks. Um, you know, I may try to you know start doing something with her um you know, i've got other things in the mix but um yeah it was it was really nice to hear cuatro caminos uh i always enjoyed playing that with laura uh it was a super time. How, many time how many times did you get to perform with her and how often as family did you guys get to spend together man um uh, i got to perform with her probably maybe 15 20 times man it was it was it was was really, it here or down south it was in south uh kingsville corpus uh rob sound um i didn't we never you know we were, we were supposed to play at uh what was that place on on downtown dallas uh simon and diamond molina had that place um la bamba la bamba man yeah. we were supposed to play there that night um Unfortunately, the sound company that my cousin hired never showed up, man. Was was it Joe B? <laughs> <laughs> was it Jason Boskus? <laughs> These putos. No, no, just, no. <laughs> no. It was none of them guys. It was, just joking it was guys. some older guys back guys. in the day. But, yeah. Um, yeah, they didn't show up, man. We were all, The whole band, they all drove from Kingsville. Um, <sighs> my family, you know, my whole family was there. My mom, my dad, you know, my brothers, my, you know, my cousins. We were all there. We were all excited. You know, hey, I'm gonna get to play in Dallas. You know, but they get to see me play with Louda, man. I was, I was like hyped up, and uh, it didn't happen, man. It didn't did Louda ever get to perform here in Dallas? She did. Uh, she played, well, not in clubs. She did some couple Private. of live. Well, yeah, what? the concert type okay. uh, events that would go on, mm -hmm. and even then, I mean, some of the bands she had rough rough time with some people you know yeah. uh, and i can relate because i i get that now myself as a male i can't even imagine back then i think i think there's a moment in the industry that everybody goes through it's a dry spell you it know is. and especially with this pandemic it oh, man, man. That, that killed it for everybody it, it it's hurt uh it's coming back you know it's coming back a little bit um thank god you know um thank god to modern medicine man i yeah. mean so now that you're regrouping and everything, where's the band now as far as the direction? And I know you got a, uh, you know, a, a, you got musicians that come and go. You've had vocalists that come and go. True. Um, you know, you've had sponsors. You still continue to to play. Um, you know, also thanks again to Robin Rivera for, you know, also. And I'm gonna let you know he he had, did mention that 
you're going to be our house band, and so at least you're going to be p- performing once or twice a month at either location. So yeah, yeah, he 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 got uh, so, got a hold of me. That was that was pretty cool of him. That was. You I know? was like, wow, thanks, and, Robin. Man, I appreciate that. So yeah, we're going to be once a month. Uh, at the old old Robbie's on Riverfront, and then at the new Robbie's uh, on Lover's, on Lover's Lane, mm-hmm. which is exciting. Um, you know, I know uh, I'm kind of working a deal out in in Fort Worth as well with another uh, club, uh, club slash restaurant, uh, Dino's Live. Mm-hmm. Dino's Live, yeah. Uh, they kind of want us to do the same thing once a month. Uh, be the house band there is, too. Is that, is that more like an Italian restaurant or it something? It is like an that? Italian yeah, restaurant, right. and yeah. I'm gonna tell you, man, the uh. food is off the chain. Yeah, it's man. homemade, from what I hear. Man, I ordered, <laughs> I ordered a stromboli, and I'm used to oh going to Italian God. restaurants. You know, it's kind of small, small stromboli. No, they make no, them. The it homemade was, ones, it they make like, a huge. Oh my God, it's like a damn pizza and shit. Yeah. you know. I'm like huge. I took it home. I ate it for two days. Yeah. That's how much the you got. Was. You got some right here on your. Oh, I know, man. I love the <laughs> you know the mozzarella cheese, you know. But yeah, the, it was man. It Denise was, is licking it off your face. Come here, honey. <laughs> slow down, slow down, slow down. Later, 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 right later, now. later, later. Not right now, right now. But uh, yeah. real quick, uh, we got uh, Roman. He's uh, tuned in and he says saludos uh, to uh, Royal Canales. He says it's a pleasure helping when I can. And uh, also Francisco Moreno, he says, R.A. is a good guy. He used to help my uh, s- sister's band Suerte back in the oh, day. Oh, wow. Yeah, I remember them. I never heard of them. Suerte? Oh, man. They, um, I used to uh, play with them, I guess, uh, it was me, uh, a good friend of mine they called CB, Fernando. Um, he was a keyboard player. He introduced me to them in... Uh, it was like, man, it, I was just getting into Tejano um, because I've been playing R&B. And then um, on that note, also, um, that's when I met Henry Torres, who just, just passed away, man. Oh, yeah, recently. Yeah. Awesome drummer. Um, I, I was having trouble with some cumbias, man. And, and uh, I had talked to him, and he's like, hey, man, you know, come by, and I'll show you some, some stuff you can do on, on cumbias. Because I was never really good at gumbias, man. I, I just never was. And uh, he, man, he taught me a lot. So, I, man, Henry, God bless you, man. I know you earned your wings. I miss you. You were a great guy. Um, you know, I know his funeral is coming up, I think, this weekend. Um, and, man, that guy, he was so humble. The nicest guy ever. But, um... Yeah, I'm gonna miss him, man. It, Francisco is asking, do you remember his sister Sam and Abraham? Yes, I remember Abraham and Sam. Uh, I would go to their house to rehearse, and uh, Abraham, uh, he was a good singer, man. But it was kind of funny because he was uh, he stuttered. So when he sang, he didn't stutter. So I was amazed because. You know, he would talk to me, and I was like, oh, my goodness, and, you know, uh, okay, okay. You know, I would kept waiting for it. But, man, when he sang, there was no stutter whatsoever. Um, Sam, you know, she was singing as well, so they were a, a husband-wife duo. Mm-hmm. Um, but, yeah, it was, man, I had good times back then. In fact, that's when I met Mario from Barajas Oro for the first time. He was the accordion player. Oh, okay. He, he came in from... Uh, like the hatchet, I'm like, man, this guy is awesome. He was killing it on the accordion. And uh, we had uh, Milo Ramirez on bass. Milo. Yeah, crazy yeah. Milo. Little, I love you, brother. Milo. Love you, brother. Yeah, his brother really? Josh is even crazier, bro. Yeah, he is. <laughs> but a very talented musician. Very talented, man. Very, and, very. And, you know, that's the, that's the good thing. I know a lot of people give San Antonio big props for all the Tejano music. But I tell you but what, there's a lot of... They don't realize it's a, a lot of people from Dallas yes, I that mean, contribute to, to the success of yeah, all the mainstream bands. I'm talking like, you know, Josh is with Gary Hobbs. Yeah, he's been with Gary for the last couple of years. Miguel yeah. uh, Ortega just Shout out's going out to Miguel Jay Ortega. Jay Perez, man. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. big... Yeah, man. Yeah, that's my kudos, brother. Kudos going out to him. Um, worked for Stampede for many, many years. Yes. And uh, a big Tejano fan and uh, also very, very talented and... And uh, now he's uh, made uh, made it official that he's part of Jay Perez in the band. Yeah. And so, man, it's I, I get excited to see the guys going somewhere. You yeah, know, yeah, man. You but it should be here. It should be here. Um, it should be here in our backyard, in our hometown. 
Dallas Fort Worth. Yes, and I wish I wish there would be, you know, a good person that came into Dallas Fort Worth to put, you know, a showcase like they do in San Antonio. I think it would be big here in Dallas Fort Worth. That'd be kind of um, cool. You know, instead of us always going to San Antonio for fanfare, you know, I think they've tried it a couple of times. It just didn't get the support that it should. And that's unfortunate. And that's another bad thing about the Hunnels. Um, you know, it, it, it gets very frustrating and very upsetting to me when, you know, we play at a club and they charge five bucks at the door and they don't want to pay five bucks. I mean, yeah. come on, man. You know, we bring... Twenty, thirty thousand dollars worth of equipment to entertain these people, uh, and they can't push five bucks. But they rather go spend a full tank of gas to San Antonio, yeah. pay whatever cover charge they have out there. It could go anywhere from twenty-five to forty dollars. Yeah, plus a hotel, hotel. Food. Oh my god! And you're looking about maybe a grand, you know, especially fanfare. You know, the the hotels are so expensive down they there. Are. And even though people like twenty people in on one bed. You know, they all pitch in, you know, 150 bucks and, you know, yeah, but, but, the, but, but I see what you're saying, you know, and, and it's, it's very unfortunate, but Hey, que, que vamos a hacer, man? we know, can just right? continue going. I've known you for many, many years. We've gone back uh, from, whew, oh man, God. back to DB days, uh, them, them early days. Oh my God. <laughs> Club 101. Oh, oh my God! Yeah, um, amigos, amigos. Uh, Laredos. La, oh yeah, Laredos. Guys and dolls ballroom. Guys and dolls oh, my ballroom. God. Man. oh my God! Rocket ballroom. <sighs> Rocket. <laughs> you used to walk in with our roller skates. Oh man! Came out naked. Ah. Yeah, boy. <laughs> I remember. Oh, you know. Oh, uh, what was his name? The DJ guy. You know. You know him. Batman uh, Perez. Uh, Batman Perez, man. Batman Perez. A lot of people ask me if I was related to him. I go, why? Because y'all look alike. Look alike. Yeah. Yeah. And I got to meet and him. And just as crazy. Yeah. Exactly, man. I was like, I freaked out when I partied with him one time. This is when Ponytail was living out there in uh in Arlington. And I was married at the time, so I had a gig at Laredos. Somebody married you? Huh? Somebody well, married you? Well, common law, common law. <laughs> I, yeah, I had to pay her with a kid. I had to pay her with a kid, you know, but uh, she got me back. You know, she's got me on child support. But anyways, oh, that's, a, that's a whole nother show right there. There it is. But I remember that one night, uh, Batman Pérez showed up, and this was right before he passed away. And uh, El Vato Le Valía, because yep. he knew that. That was it, you know. So he was still going out like his final tour, in other words. Yeah, man. Man, we ended up partying the next day. We we left Laredos. We ended up at Ponytails. And then in the morning, um, April, hey, can, can you drop me off? I said, like, where, bro? You know, like all partied <laughs> out, you know. And like, man, I just lived right down the street. I said, bro, I said, my lady's waiting for me. Sure enough, man, good thing I had a good woman back then because she understood that I was just hanging out with the guys yeah. that night. But it's very seldom that you find somebody that will put up with stuff like that. And I was very blessed. And, I, you know, I'll send her a shout out, you know, because, you know, she put up with my stuff for 11 years, man. Wow. And you know me. Oh, I know you, you. you. You know me. I know you. I'm not a bad person. I just like to party. Yeah. Yeah, that's, we'll, that's just, we'll just leave it at that. Yeah, we'll just you leave know? it there. <laughs> because, you know, but, you know that's, that's a whole nother story right there. But, uh, yeah, um, it, it's been... A fun ride, you know. You're, you're right. I have had some health issues, and I've, you know. So where are you at now, as far as your man, health? I'm doing pretty good. Um, I'm trying to get my back fixed. I've got a bad back, man. Oh my god, there's some days I just I got some duct tape right there, and man, that get, might work. I'm get a couple you. hangers. Denise, do me a favor, find a couple hangers in the closet. Maybe real quick. put a two by four on my two back. Two by four. There you go. I'll go to Home Depot get a discount or I'm something. Telling you, some zip ties and something. But so, uh, other than that, you know, my, my heart is is working great. Uh, bro, you got a heart of gold. Man, thank you, bro. I, and I appreciate you. You know, I, I really sincerely say that you have a heart of gold as much as you've been through and, and everything that you put together with the band and done for others. You're still standing and God has you here for a reason. I know that we've had our conversations before down on your luck. I myself have been down on my luck. It's a natural thing that we go through in life, but you know what? By the grace of God, we have that blessing, and you have it. And speaking of blessings, um, you know, when the last issue I had was when I had my stroke, right? Yeah. And I couldn't use my hand. I couldn't walk very well. But that young lady right there behind you pushed me. She she helped me get up and, and come on, we need to walk. We need so to that's walk. what happened. I thought you just winked at everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I mean... 
<laughs> I, 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 I was. But it's true, yeah. Yeah, I had a stroke. And, and shout outs going out to Denise because these guys have been together for a long time. Long time, man. And like any relationships, ups and downs. Oh, but man. you know what? Still ups, standing. Downs, and, round and round. Yeah. Sounds like a song, doesn't it? But, yeah, yeah. But yeah. You spin um, me round, she, round. Yeah. Spin, no, anyway. You know, she. she you know, we would get and walk right beside, held me so I could walk. Um, and, and I, you know, we have this incline on our driveway. You've been to my yeah, house, yeah. you know, we've been, you know, w- there's an incline on our, our driveway, so I would walk it, man, and just push and push and push and push. You know, we walked up and down our street. Um, she was right there beside me, man, and it was, and it was a great blessing. I know I have never told her thank you, but you know, thank you, Denise. Um, she's she's been there, but uh, you know. The hand control came back, the leg came back, and I'm like, wow, the limp was gone. I mean, you can't even tell that I had a stroke. I yeah. mean, it's crazy. I look myself in the mirror, I'm like, wow. I remember I would call you just to check up on you, and you just... And I was in the dumps, man. Yeah. I, I'm not going to lie. I was really in the dumps. But I always told you, man, God is good. Don't give up. Don't give up. True, true. I always told you that I love you. I mean, we're like, we're like brothers, you know, and, man, we go back a long way. Long, and long, long time, it, man. It's, it's hard to see somebody that you love so much and been a part of each other's lives, brother, brother, yeah, brother, yeah, yeah. you know, no, no homo shit, you know, <laughs> <clears throat> but, no, no. but, but in reality, bro, you know, there's very few yeah. that, that will come out and reach out and, and say, Hey man, how you doing? Oh, Hey bro, you're going to be all right. And this and that. And, it's true. Uh, it's vice versa. I, you know, I see, you know, post some crazy things and I would go, oh, Hey Casper, yeah. take that off, man. Yeah. Just take, take that off, bro. Well, depression is, 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 a it is a beast. It's a, it's a disease. And uh, a lot of people say it's a mindset type of thing, but no, no, it's not. No, um, it's it's, and it, I and I refuse to take any type of medication. You know, I got my pharmaceutical, my street pharmaceuticals, <laughs> but uh, even at that, you know, it, it doesn't help. Tonto, um, there's a, yeah, tonto, todo baboso and stupid, and uh, you know, but you know, we cannot just give uh, give thanks to to our Lord, bro, because it's this is all Him. Yeah, this, it is, man. It, you know. You know it, and I, I've always asked myself, you know, what am I doing? What am I doing? Why? You know, why Why am I still here? And like you said, I guess, you know, you're right. I guess, you know, God has a plan and uh, he's been guiding me. And, you know, I've had some ups and downs and now I'm, 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 on, the, I'm on the upside. You know, um, there's your comeback. It is a big, big comeback. And it's a big announcement today. And that's why I'm here today. Let's go ahead and do it, man. Man, I am so proud and pleased. I worked with this guy. I'm not going to say his name right now, but I worked with this guy back in the day, and uh, I enjoyed jamming with this dude. I mean, he was... I would used to look up to this band, man. I'm like, oh, my God, man. I, these guys rock. Holy... You know, I'd see him at Artist Square... Um, the drummer would always invite me to come see where they were playing at. I've done sound for them a couple of times. You know, it was it was a, a big, to me, it was like, wow. You know, and I've had some great singers. I'm not going to lie, you know. One of my other favorites is George Sarate, man, from, you know, when we had Grupo Lasso. But, you know, I've had some ups and downs with singers. So, it just kind of fell in my lap. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I I had a situation, and you know, within thirty minutes of a phone call, I got someone else, and I was like, "Are you sure?" Well, he's also sat in with you before. Oh he's yeah, performed many yes. times. You yes. know, you know, we like I said, we, I performed with him in the past, uh, but it was a, it was a kind of a emergency emergency thing, yeah. and, and they, they said yes. You know, you know. Uh, and another brother I used to have in the band that I enjoy even even more was you know Albert Tiger Diaz. We did oh. we did stuff back in the day. Yeah, we did stuff. To, oh, not that. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but you know, with Albert and man, talented so like man. I said, I've been blessed. Talented. I have been talented. so blessed to have talented mm. musicians always around me. Yeah. Um, you know, Sammy Ibarra on bass. Yeah. Know, Mike Pettis keyboards. Ex brother-in-law. Yeah, man. Uh, Tony <laughs> Robledo. Tony Robledo. Um, he's a, a beast. A legend. You know, a legend. Um, and I, I mean, Josh Ramirez, Milo Ramirez, um, I can go on and on. Frank Gosler was a beast on accordion. 
so, you, so, so actually you had you had band members from Grupo Lasso, Grupo Stampede, yeah, um, you know, and and you know a lot of other band oh, members man. that yeah I, I that mean, help each other out. Uh, Leo Signs also you've had uh, yeah. band members from from Atlantic Express help you out. Yeah, I've, like I said, I've been blessed. I mean, I can pick up a phone call, and, and if a, a musician can't make it, I can pick up a phone call, and bam, they're there. No questions. You know, has where, Leo ever played? You know, with you, he's done horns, yeah, right? But not he's the done horns. He we, he sat in a couple of times, and, and I used to help him uh, with his front porch Cojunto band for a while. Then he um, got his thirty-minute comedy show. Yeah, you know, so <laughs> I didn't I didn't really enjoy that too much. <laughs> Hey, uh, compadrito, hey, uh, you want to send a shout out? Remember, compadre? Yeah, no. man. And, no, we love you, Leo. We love you, day, Leo. <laughs> you know, but yeah, Leo's a character, man. He, he's, he's a cool he's, cat, man. He's, yeah. he's, a, he's a good compadre, man. Yeah. But uh, like I said, I've always been blessed. Thank God that I can pick up a telephone and boom. Yeah. I've got a keyboard player. Boom. I've got a accordion player. Boom. Guitar. You know. Yeah. And, and and people ask me all the time. I've even had Ray Reyna ask me, "Man, how do you do it?" All right, I said, "Bro, you know, I've been I've been blessed, man. I can I can pick up a phone and just pick up musicians." And, and uh, Ozzy, Ozzy Savala says, "What's up, man? He wants to battle you." Oh yeah, yeah. He said, "I want to battle him." No, he didn't say that. Oh man, no, I'm just joking. <laughs> Denise, you're on here. You can see it. Ozzy Savala. He says, "What's up, though?" He didn't what's say. What's up, Ozzy, man? He didn't. He, he didn't say that. I'm just messing with you, but he said, yeah. "What's up?" It's another cool cat. He plays yeah. with. Actually, he plays with my cousin's band, uh, Adam and Frankie Cabello. They're my cousins. Oh really? Yeah, and Ephraim is also my cousin. So uh, you know, Cabrillo. Yeah. So yeah, they're they're all cousins. A- uh, Adrian, uh, which was Ray Rayner's arranger and oh yeah 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 yeah, know, yeah keyboard yeah. player, a phenomenal musician man. Uh, also my cousin. So all from Robstown. Okay. If you can imagine that. Wow. But uh, they're on my mom's side. Okay. So music runs on both sides of my family. But um, Frankie was actually my original bass player, uh, Frankie Cabello. And then I've had Adam on when we had Lasso on, on accordion. So it was it was fun, man, to have family there. It was always fun. But, uh, you know, I, I hope they have a great success, you know. Yeah. Um, they got they, a new single out. They got and, a new single out yeah. um, that my uh, cousin Adrian arranged for them. Yeah. And, uh, you know, much props to them. Hopefully, they, they you know, if they ever need it, hey, Ozzy, if you ever need anything, just let me know. Uh, uh, I, I'm always here. Uh, in fact, you know, if anyone has a question for me, you know, they can type it onto uh, Casper's uh, feed right there. Maybe I can answer it. Maybe not. Maybe I won't answer it. But nevertheless, you can send me a shout if you have a question uh, about my background, where I've been, where we're going. And I'm about to tell you where we're going right now. As we were saying earlier, this is a big announcement. Um, I worked with this guy, like I said, back in the day. And uh, I gave him a phone call. and said, hey, man, I've got this situation, blah, blah, blah. You know, what are you doing right now? And he's like, well, you know, I'm kind of filling in here and there. But I'm looking for something steady. I said, well, I got something for you, brother. He's like, oh, yeah, what's that, all right? I said, man, I need a lead vocalist. But I need a good lead vocalist. So uh, he's like, man, what's up? So I said, hey, man, you know, I've got really good gigs coming up. Uh, some big projects. Uh, we're going to be also in Beeville, Texas uh, for a festival. So he's like, man, I'm down. So today I'm here with Casper and the Revolution Radio to announce I've got Rick Acosta. Formerly of Texas Latino on lead vocals now. This is going to be a game changer, man. I'm telling you. This is another chapter. Another chapter, man. It's going to be a new level for me and the musicians. Uh, they, you know, we're all studying the music right now. I was all day yesterday going over it, over and over. Um, you know, I've always enjoyed playing, you know, like Porque Será and this song that's playing right now. Yeah. You know, uh, como tu. yeah, man, and, and it, it was like I was shocked when he said yes, and uh, I'm like, for real? He was like, man, let's do this. So, um, yeah, he is officially my new lead singer. 
Congratulations, bro. Man, thank you, man. It's, like man. I said, it's thank you for having it. You know, making that big announcement here as well. Oh yeah, man. And, and you heard it here first on Revolution Radio with uh, DJ Casper. Thank you, uh, Rick Acosta. We will be his first debut. Will be March fifth at Dino's Live. Okay. So then after that, you know, whatever comes You're our coming way. Back to Robbie's. And back to Robbie's. Yeah. We'll be with Rick Acosta. Yeah, I think uh, towards the end of March, I believe. Yeah, I believe that's what uh, uh, Robin, Robin said. said. Yeah. And then, um, you know, we've got a couple of little festivals that we're going to do. Um, I'm real excited. Um, I've got a couple of new songs that we're going to try to do as well, record. And he's got some new music that hasn't released. So he wants to release it uh, once we get this thing going. So there's a lot of things in the works, Mm -hmm. which is going to be a plus. Um, You know, I've been working hard for so many years, Casper, so many years. And it's like I, I, I build and I build and I build and I get knocked down. But the good thing is I get back up. You know, I get back up. There's been some times where I just, you know, I tell Denise, man, I just want to quit. Yeah. I'm tired, you know, but. But it's in your blood. Man, it's, it's not going to happen. Yeah, it's, I, I tell my dad all the time, you cursed me. Yeah. You know, but it's not a curse. It's really a gift, but, you know, I, I give him a hard time. And, uh, you know, at 90, you know, he's. He's still a strong old goat, man. My dad, he's just, he's just there, man. Is he here? Is he living here in Dallas or? He lives in Granbury. You know, he, Granbury, was, okay. he was the bass player for Ruben Naranjo. Really? And he played bass for the two G's. Okay. Back in the day. And Renee Jocelyn. So my dad's been playing with some big bands back in the day. Um, but yeah, he's still alive. Who do you who do you, who do you say Jocelyn? Oh, it's the Rene Jocelyn. El papá de, de uh, Roel? Yes. From Los Hermacos? Yes. Wow. Yeah. And wow. that was another funny story because I went do I went did sound for um, a band that Roel was playing in, and we started talking. And I'm like, "Who's your dad?" He said, "Oh, Renee Jocelyn." I said, and he said, "He said my last name." He's like, "Who's your dad?" I said, "My dad's Roberto." Oh man, your dad? He was bass player for my my dad. Well, you know that he uh, Roel took time off from Los Chamacos here yes. recently, and he reamped the the band. So. Him and his dad were on tour. Like it wasn't that long though, right. but I think they did a a project together. And this was just recently. Yeah, it was real recent. Yeah, um, yeah. What a small world, yeah, man. I mean, it was like if I would have known, crazy. man. I, if I would have known that part of the history, I would have called you up and hey, bring your dad. Let's go out there, you know, right. somewhere out there in Houston. And, you know, and we may still do a you know a thing with my dad. You know, I like to you know, bring him, let him give you the history of yeah, hell of the yeah, music. no doubt, man. I mean, you know, he was born in the '30s, you know, so. Yeah. Uh, his stories are, are incredible, um, and he knows all the lowdowns on on Johnny and Lauda. Um, he is. So we got people jumping onto the Facebook live feed, and uh, in case you just tuned in, Mr. Ari Canales made it official. The announcement is that Mr. Rick Acosta, former lead vocalist of Texas Latino, is uh, officially now the lead vocalist for Ari Canales and, and Grupo Extreme. Yes, sir. And in fact, you know he's he's so humble. I mean, Rick is so humble. Robin's on right now as oh, well. Oh, hey, he what's up, Robin? Yeah, he but just um, up. you know, Sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed the new club, brother. But um, he's so humble, and I asked him, "Hey, man, what do you what do you want to do with the, you know what changes?" No, man, just keep it Ari Canales, man. That's that's your that's your brand. That's you. That's that's who you are. Um, you know, so I'm like, "Are you sure? Are you cool with that?" He's like, "Yeah, man, just keep it Ari Canales and Extreme." You know, just featuring Rick featuring Acosta. Rick Acosta. Yeah. So I'm like, wow, uh, okay. Because, yeah. you know, I did that when I took over Grupo Lasso. I gave up my name. Okay, yeah, yeah. Right you know, right. and um, and I thought it would be for the better. But, um, you know, as soon as George decided that he was going to step down and, and do his mariachi, his mariachi thing, uh, you know. I think he watched one too many movies of Antonio Banderas. <laughs> uh, he wants to be El Mariachi de Fort Ortega. Yeah, el más... Mas, Put. Mas puto. But yeah, man, George, uh, I love you, man. But uh, shout outs going out to uh, Robin Rivera, the owner of both locations of Riverfront and Lovers Location. And uh, you guys make sure you follow us on social media and uh, keep a lookout. Uh, the next performance for R.A. Canales will be with the new lead vocalist, Rick Acosta of Texas Latino. So uh, we need to get with Robin. We need to get you back to, to one of the clubs. And yes, uh, and it's going to be, uh, man, you know what? We're, we're, we're going to have to go big with this. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to go big with this. Oh, 
Oh, he he already posted uh, March twelfth. Oh, oh wow. March twelfth. Oh, thank you, thank you, Robin. All right, so I'm gonna uh, let me make the flyer right now. Yeah, man, <laughs> we're, we're gonna get it rolling, Robin. Man, appreciate you very much. Uh, you know, expect a, a really good crowd once people realize who's yeah. singing. Yeah. I mean, Robin, be be ready because uh, <laughs> he says sauce. <laughs> <laughs> hey, which location though, bro? Yeah, which which one? He says we're set for March. I, I say we do it for uh, Riverfront Boulevard. No, well, I think. I don't know. Huh? The new one? Yeah, well, yeah. He's 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 over there. He's scratching, he, his, he's scratching, he's scratching his head. His, he's scratching uh, his head. He's he's. Uh, Casper's putting me on the spot. Where should I have? Where should I have him? I tell you what, Robin. Get get you a quarter. Flip a coin. Yeah. Heads. Uh, the new place tells the old one. Yeah, he's saying which one? Hmm. We're gonna make it official right now, everybody. All right, we're gonna make we're, we're, drum roll, please. Drum roll. Uh, well, you're the drummer. <laughs> uh, I didn't bring those sticks. Dude. So, so it's official. Rick Acosta, ex lead vocalist of Texas Latino, is now the lead vocalist for Ari Canales and Grupo Extreme. Everybody, oh my God, this is just great news, and also for the city of Dallas to bring uh, Tejano iconic artists like mr rick acosta to be a part oh, man. I, of I, your I, band bro man it's it's awesome news it's yeah i've been excited ever since you know i hung up with him and then i went to go check him out uh last saturday you know he sang with uh stampede we got the answer riverfront location it riverfront, is front it is man uh, a lot more people fit in that place anyway who are you, who are you gonna get to run sound because uh, <laughs> i mean you know what this is something that you got to enjoy and relax instead of working yeah. getting there at three o'clock in the afternoon oh, i know man. you know you put your heart and soul and to make sure that the sound and, and we don't want to take anything away from you as far as that i know that's your love and passion but since this is going to be a big thing here for the city of dallas to have rick acosta to be your new lead vocalist we got to get ah you know we, you oh know. man i know i know it and it, it but you know what? Screw that. We're just gonna have you run sound you and, and stuff like. That. We want this to be perfect. <laughs> yeah. We don't. We don't. We don't want to uh, book a negra over there pushing the wrong button and then no, you're gonna get man. feedback. <laughs> Poor Manuel. Poor Manuel. You love you, bro. Me. Love yeah, you. love you too, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, now I'm really excited. You know, but that's it, what's up, man. Yeah, it, Thanks, it, Robin, bro. Thank you, man. Like I said, I, I always, I, I always hope, give him props, man. I always give Robin props, man. I hope, I hope I get to work that night. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's an inside joke that we have by the way <laughs> no, so it's gonna happen march 12th uh robbie's uh robbie's place 1200 south river from boulevard near downtown dallas start calling reserving your tables because this is a party you don't want to miss ari canales was brand new singer well you know not brand new but i mean well to the band to us yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. you know rick acosta will be making his debut yeah, man. And like I said, you know, if uh, if they want to see me earlier, I mean, March 5th, we'll be at Dino's Live, which is, uh, man, like I said, that place is awesome. He but said he, he wants me to broke back. I mean, uh, he wants me to bar back. <laughs> I can't see. Pinche Robbie. Pinche Robbie. <laughs> I think we'll make a shirt that says Pinche Robbie's. Oh, we can do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what do you think, Robin? Pinche Robbie's. No, we'll say Pinche Robin. Robbie's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an inside joke, but hey, that'd be kind of cool, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you the inside joke after we get uh -oh. off the air because, yeah. No, <laughs> and then I'm, I'm actually getting some shirts made that says Sasku Little, too. So we can incorporate both there right there. So And also, Robin, big note, uh, man, have the food ready, bro. Oh, let's not go there. The we're we're, we're going to be at the other location. <laughs> oh, so that's right. That's right. That one is bring your own tacos. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I'll, 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 get bring, some, I'll bring my own tacos. We'll out. probably get a food truck out there. You know what? I'm going to try to see if we can get some uh, somebody to cater some food that evening because this is going to be a big celebration for the band. So Yes, sir. It's, it's going to be, man, I'm telling you, it's going to be. If y'all miss this one, you know, shame on y'all. Yeah. You know, at also, Robbie's is famous for no cover charge. Yeah, no cover charge. Plenty of parking. And uh, BYOB, that's uh, bring your own bottle of liquor, of course. Right. And so we got the coldest beer in town with the hottest bartenders. So, and uh, cool DJ. He's very, very cool. <laughs> uh, which, which DJ is that night? I don't know, man. I don't know who he's going to book that night. <laughs> Yeah, you know, because you, no, put, that's, you that's, put that's my actual home there, you bro. Know, so you I'll you be put there. you put me and Casper together as a disaster. Oh my god! You know, it's just dumb. No, I, I can already hear. It. You know, last last time he he let me make it when we played over there at uh, Lovers, and uh, you know, but I you know, I know I'm, I know he's I already know, I, and I and uh, 
anyways, I'm stuttering too much, so I'll be good. I'll be good for this next one. <laughs> Robin, it was my fault. <laughs> no, nah, but it was it was a good night that night at the Lovers End. So, yeah, um, you know, you kept asking for for water, and I'm like, oh, I got confused. I thought it was alcohol, so I kept giving you alcohol. No, no, no wonder I got no. Yeah, but you know, anyhow, anyway, <laughs> it was all my fault, Robin. Oh, he's saying a cool arrow. <laughs> That's what he called it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm a man. cool arrow DJ. So you heard it here first. Uh, Rick Acosta, uh, uh, officially lead singer for Grupo Extreme. Casper <laughs> will be DJing that night. Plus, for one night only. One night, one night only. Only with one turntable. Oh, my God. And one headphone. Two speakers, one that works. No microphone. No microphone. <laughs> Oh man, yes he was, Robin. Yeah, he was. No, was it th- was it that early? It was that early. Sauce. No. Uh, Julia Castro is where are you going to be at March the fifth? That's going to be at a location out there in Fort Worth, Texas. It's called Dino's Live. It's an actual Italian uh, restaurant slash venue, and they're going to be performing out there as well. Now that's going to be actually the first gig that Rick Acosta is going to be singing with uh, Ari Canales. So if you want to take that trip out there and show some support, you know, the band's going to be out there performing on March 5th. Now, we just got confirmation right now by Robin Rivera, who's joining us right here on Facebook Live. Uh, We'll be bringing the band, along with Rick Acosta, uh, to the debut to the city of Dallas March 12th. So mark your calendar. This is going to be a week before Fanfare. All right, so make sure you guys come out and show some support. Rick Acosta, officially with Ari Canales and Grupo Extreme, will be performing March the 12th at Robbie's on uh, uh, at the Riverfront location. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Start making uh, plans to join us. Reserve your tables. And uh, we'll be uh, pushing it here in the next few days. I oh, yeah. Get, get also, going you know, well. I'd like to say, you know, I know we're playing March 5th first. But I think we're going to make it a debut party at Robbie's. Let's just make that official. Okay, gig. yeah, let's do it. Yeah, we'll get a ribbon and everything. Oh, man, that'd be cool, right? Yeah. Hey, is uh, Juanito Castillo coming? No, Juanito's not coming, man. Oh, shit. Yeah, he's uh, <laughs> he's got a, some project going um, with the, uh, the sons from uh, uh, Steve Jordan. Oh, the Jordan. Uh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. he's playing. He's helping them um, on those gigs. So oh, that'd be great to have them guys too. Oh man, bro. they're awesome. Oh, man. I saw them at Fanfare last year. No, the year before. I uh, went to go check out Albert Tiger, and they played before Albert Tiger. And man, these we, we need these, to call Albert to come and join us that night, just to come and hang out. You know, yeah, yeah that'd be kind of cool. Have like a, a celebrity type of thing of uh, artists, you know, to come out. Maybe he'll. Fill in and, and jam yeah, out with you, man. man. Maybe that'd be kind of cool, bro. Yeah. So, um, you know, uh, yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do, man. I think we're just gonna make the official official. Okay, so there you have it, folks and listeners, we'll uh, at Robbins, right here on man. Riverfront uh, yeah, on, uh, at Riverfront location. Yeah, man. this is gonna be the official debut of, uh, of course, Rick Acosta with with Grupo Extreme. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna have uh, caps, t-shirts, koozies. Uh, caps are gonna go for a hundred dollars. Uh, t-shirts are gonna go for two hundred dollars. Koozies, koozies are going to be for fifty dollars. I, I got five on it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, people, man. Um, so yeah, you're going to be having your merchandise yes, as well, we'll have and merchandise, so. and it'll be the new uh, brand, also with uh, Rick Acos on it. Um, so now that, that that you got Rick aboard, also you're going to be doing the private gigs as well. Uh, oh yes. Give them some information on how people can get in contact with you. Yes, actually, um, we've teamed up with uh, BSL. Um, Actually, I I, I uh, try to get a hold of her, but Melissa's too busy posing uh, and and posting, <laughs> uh, putting selfies instead of uh, answering her emails or I mean her messages. But I actually wanted to invite her to join us this morning to also introduce her. That she's uh, actually uh, is she promoting or is she your manager or she is uh, promoting and doing bookings for me as well. Um, she has been doing a great job. There's there's been some places that uh, like Dino's I could, I've never yeah. you know I. Could never and Dino's has been there. It's been there, but uh, they I've never seen them uh, bring in live uh, entertainment. I know they have DJs. I, a DJ G from out there, the Fort Worth area. I know he plays out. Th- he plays out there on the weekends. Yes, but I never got to see. I think maybe Stampede played there one time, but I haven't seen anybody else play over there. Yeah, I know Latin Express played there once too. Okay. Um, probably like two or three months ago. But uh, yeah, Melissa, she's uh, she's gotten me into some places in Fort Worth that I could didn't even know about. So. Um, I give her big props. She's doing a, a great job. Um, 
she is. So are they going to contact her for, for booking information? Yes. Um, well, either you can contact myself, you know, um, or you can go onto my Facebook. Uh, we have a, a Grupo Extreme Facebook uh, business page. And now, a lot of people don't know also we have formed our, our, our uh, group as well, you know, as far as with my DJ services. Right. And you, you provide the sound and everything. Correct. So uh, you're, you're, you're going to be busy, bro. We got, we got some bookings coming yeah. up as well. Yeah. And uh, a couple bro, out of just, town. Yeah, you know, that's out of town. Be, it's going to be the Houston area. You know, we're probably uh, going to get in trouble, but, you know. Nah. <laughs> business is business, bro. You know, I mean, I, we're out to, especially if we go out there, you know, it's it's about making our money, being safe, going out there, perform, do our thing. And it's, it's, it's I'm very blessed that I'm getting calls from the Houston area for us to go out there as well with my dj services and and uh private events private gigs we got packages available um yeah uh know. like you know we got you know from small little venues we can do from or to large venues mm -hmm. um the last one we did was a big uh quinceanera it was a great success uh we had some issues with electricity with the, oh the, the lady, God, but, bro. you know, she was rude as hell. But We made it happen, though. You know, I uh, MacGyvered the, the, the wall, and uh, yeah. and uh, we got through it. You know, Fiesta for, Gardens, you suck. Yeah, Fiesta <laughs> Gardens, man. Oh, my God, that lady. <laughs> oh, by the way, Denise, this show is uncensored, so I can pretty much say any pendejada that I want, <laughs> okay? So, but, but with all due respects, uh, any pendejadas that come out of my mouth, I usually stand 100% by it. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Fiesta Gardens, oh, people, man. I highly recommend they suck. Anyhow, yeah, man, it, it, let's continue with the interview here. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, so Anything else that you want to go ahead and announce? And so? Man, no, you know, it's like I said, I, I'm really so, so, so excited about this new venture. Um, it, it's like, it's crazy, man. It's like one day you wake up and you're like, man, what the heck am I going to do? What am I going to do? I'm having trouble with the sky. You know, I'm like. Uh, well, all of that, frustrations, all, frustrations. All, all, all of that now is 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 behind you. Yes, and uh, this is going to be a fresh chapter, a fresh page for for your band and and for your legacy. You know, being a part of the Canales family for many many years, as far as back as you can remember from your your pops. You know, uh, you know uh, your cousin uh, Laura Canales and your uncle Theo Johnny. Right. You know, uh, uh, Johnny Canales, and uh, it'd be kind of cool, man, if we get to uh, interview them as well. You know, get Johnny's input. You know, he's oh, already yeah, up man. there in age, and and man, he's he's done a lot for the musical he's industry. You know, for lot, the Dano industry. You know, he he discovered you know Selena. Um, he was the and... first first Tejano to be featured on Univision. Yes, with his own TV show. Correct. The very first and only one that's been featured because nobody else has been featured like the way he has. Right, and he had a certain format which was unheard of um it was kind of like watching soul train yeah you know people used to tell me um that my uncle johnny was the johnny carson of Mex mexican music of, of tv yeah you know like wow you know that's pretty cool um, and it's true bro because it his resume shows it it proves it he's he's crossed over boundaries that nobody else has done in this industry as far as tv you know and I mean, he's even more popular in Mexico. Oh yes, you know, with Ramon Ayala, Los Huracanes del Norte. Oh, he recorded, he recorded a couple songs, uh, you know, uh, you know, with uh, Los Huracanes. Yeah, he also he uh, did Los Traileros, um, uh, the Banda Recordio. Yeah, um, Banda he, Recordio. Yeah, he's done so many other artists. Um, you know, like I said, a lot of times he doesn't get the the recognition that he should. Um, he yeah, I'm surprised he hasn't it. received some kind of a lifetime achievement award. That's what you know? I'm talking about. And um, if anybody in the TTMA, because I don't know these other award shows that are popping up, I, I think the home of the awards belong to the Hano Music Awards. You know, yes. they're the ones that that started this. Um, yeah, you know, the Hano took a little back step, whatever you want to call it. But you know, that I this is the probably only award show, and I'm sorry, this is just my opinion. It's probably the only recognized awards that True. that that you know the hano artists get to be a part of you know right. and get recognized fairly yes you know i mean i know i give a lot of props to these new artists and 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 uh but you know what um i don't know that's just me but i'm not taking anything away from these other awards that that's happening right now and i and i'm probably going to get shitted on for what i'm saying <laughs> but it's just the truth man and so you know i'm, I'm going to try to see if we can make some calls and even if we can get to the hannah roots hall of fame to be able to to do something for johnny because you know what it's it's long overdue yeah i mean know? i've seen some of these uh people that have gotten awards from the roots 
And I'm like, I shake my head. I'm like, really? I mean, bro, uh, as long as I've been doing radio broadcasts and been in this industry as long as you have, you know, I got sick to my stomach because a couple years ago I was actually supposed to be a part of it. Yeah. And I got sick when I saw another Dallas person out of nowhere jumped in and took all of it away. And so ever since then, I'll be like, you know what? I, I lost faith in 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 the Handle Roots Hall of Fame, but you know, to each their own. You know, now I found out that it's about you have to send your resume. You know, it's like you're paying your way to get into the Tejano Roots Hall of Fame. I'm not paying for shit. For one, I deserve some kind of recognition for what I've done in this industry, just as well as all the artists have. It's yeah. You know? I mean, like, I've dedicated my life. I've had what three marriages gone through. You know, and, and I'm just keeping it real, bro, because, yeah, yeah. It, you know, being in this business, right, I, and Denise can agree. It takes away from birthdays, holidays, it does. you know, uh, family trips, spending time with your grandkids. Yeah, man. You uh, know, your uh, grandkid, hey, grandpa, take me to take to, yeah, take me I, to pizza or something. Oh, yeah. I've, oh, I, mean, I've well, missed so I many work. birthdays, yeah, um, you know. holidays. And, you know, even, you know, coming home at three, four o'clock in the morning, yeah, that's right. exhausted, man. But, you know, then you have to, you know wake your significant other up because you're trying to walk in slowly but we have a little yapper dog that or else they get pissed because of, hey why the fuck you're home all late so you late know? yeah who, who are you with yeah no I'm, it, it takes time you oh, know she's because, you know, yeah because, she goes now and she's see seen for yourself. she's seen you see for yourself you she's know seen how hard it is she sat with me at the dj booth and she sees you know from this side what what show and 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 everything that he sets up as far as sound lighting and and getting the guys all organized I mean, you're the backbone of the band. Yeah, you know? man. It's like I said, it's it's hard work. Um, and like I said, a lot of times I say, man, why why do I do this? Why do I do it, man? It's what the love and passion, bro. Yeah, it's man. the love and passion. Sometimes you don't realize everything that you've done until yeah, you're at home. Wow, I shit, I was out there, you know, I did this, I yeah, did that, man. and perform, and then still break everything down. Come home, long hours. You can be traveling from one place to another. And it's it's it takes a toll. It bro. takes a toll. Plus, you know, in the back, you know, even even back behind that, you know, there's days where I have to go through the trailer, have to go through back tables and solder and this and that and this and that, repaint, you know, make. make and then also you got your and then you got your business as well with the printing. Yeah, you know you that know? keeps me like busy, crazy. Um, you know, I do custom caps and shirts, and uh, right now I'm doing an order for Elias for homeboys yeah, for homeboys. fanfare um and i'm waiting on poncho pistolas i'm supposed to do their shirts um he doesn't have no money he doesn't have no sponsor <laughs> i'll tell you that right now they're watching us right now because we're bringing the sponsorship to no, i'm just playing uh, but yeah it's, you know it's all good and, 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 and you know i've made you I some stuff you, i made you, you, yeah, I made yeah, you yeah. some caps and yeah. some shirts yeah. and um you know i do even i mean people ask me you know because I give out my shirts free, you know, and caps. And, you know, Denise gets mad at me because, like, you should be selling that stuff. You should be selling that stuff. But, you know, one day I'm going to walk somewhere and I'm going to see my uh, shirt uh, on somebody. Uh, and I'm gonna be like, yeah, man, that's my shirt. Yeah. Um, like, last summer we played at Six Flags for, uh, we played uh, Mar or May, June, and July. And this couple asked you know for some caps and i asked where y'all from they said they're from colorado and they said man we'll, we'll wear your hat proudly I'm like wow that's pretty cool you yeah know? it is bro especially a lot of people that don't get to witness tejano in their states and then we're talking about up in the midwest as far as michigan wisconsin illinois minnesota um right now i have received a text from uh my uh, the owner of the station he shot me a text i got 49 viewers from canada Wow, that's pretty cool, Canada, man. bro. Canada. So, so you know, the World Wide Web helps out a lot. Uh, and I'm grateful, you know, that, that I have the opportunity to be on this format, on this platform, to be able to share the Hano music right. to, to a lot of people around the world. Now, I believe, if I, and, I, and, and I can almost guarantee you, it's our men and women in the military. Right. You know, and, and shout outs going out to everybody in the armed oh, forces, definitely, definitely, you know, serving yeah. and, and enjoying the interview, the music and and whatnot, you know. But these guys are out there, you know, they, you know, taking care of business. And when they hear something from Texas, it brings them home. Yeah, it does. And man. I'm glad that I'm able to to provide that. And, and not just myself, but 
all the DJs, all the artists of, of, of this industry that we call Tejano music. Right. You know, and it's not about singing my station out or whatever. It's about all of us working as a family and to be able to bring peace to them guys. And especially now that, you know, they, they, we might go to war, you right. know, because Russia's tripping or whatever. But you guys be safe out there, man. You guys are doing a hell of a job. Please take care of business. Come back home safe. We thank you guys for everything that you do for this great nation. Yeah, man. It, like I said, they got to have big props. I mean, without without our servicemen and women, um, even our police officers yeah. and fire de- fire yeah. departments, um, we would not have a free country. You know, and and it's crazy the way things have happened in the last couple of years with COVID and you know the political mess that yeah. our ex president. I, I miss Trump. He, he's the only president that sent me money. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and well, child support didn't take it. You know, um, I, got, I bought some new rims. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> no, that money actually helped me come back to Dallas, oh. whether you want to believe it or not. Yeah. Yeah, actually, it bought me a couple of moving heads. So, yeah. yeah, that was good. <laughs> you know, thank you, Trump. But, uh, well, uh, uh, you know, that was, you know, yeah. So, but, you know, I, and also, you know, I want to say, man, I appreciate you having me today, bro. I know we've been through so much Man, bro, it's a pleasure, shit. man. It's I can a actually pleasure. say shit on the radio. Yeah. Um, you know, it's it was it's an honor, man. I appreciate you all the time. And, oh, uh, thank you, man. Thank you. Because, you know, with all this information that you got to share today on this interview, there's no other station that's going to get deep down and personal. And, you know, I have that opportunity to do it, you know, yeah, and I, and I just want to say thank you. You know, I know this was a lengthy uh, interview, but you know what? It's well worth it. Man, yeah. You know, I mean, I know people are like, man, play some music. Get rid of this guy. But, no, 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 you know, no, no, uh, no. And it's and not I about that. But, but no, and, and it's not even about that because, you know, even uh, with Daniel Boom, we're, we're working on a, on a, a separate program. And I, I think we spoke to you about yes. it already. And uh, we're going to start actually recording and filming and, and uh, you know, saving the history of the Hano Music based out of dallas yes. and fort worth and that's what's important you know we want to save stuff like this and actually this is going to be saved i'm going to lo- upload it on on uh, youtube awesome, and man. um you know the thing about it is this we got this younger generation which is your grandkids yes you know the day you earn your wings hey i didn't know grandpa did this and oh, i don't yeah. you know and and it's just part of history you know even like with myself damn casper you know and you know, or anybody that, that that's been involved, you know, with your legacy, right? And it and it's and it needs to be done. Like Daniel Boom said, nobody here in Dallas is doing it. Very you know? true. It's, you know? That's true. I don't know if you see that book that I have there. There was a, a, a publisher out there. You can you can pick it up, Denise, and check it out. Oh yeah, I see it. And and and, and, and this this guy, he he was a publisher out of San Antonio, I think. If you open up that book, somebody already printed the history of all the artists of the industry. You know, and so. You know, you, you continue to open it, go through the pages. There's all the Tejano bands, all the artists. This person took the time to record everything and made a book about it. Oh, that's pretty cool, man. I'm going to go get a copy of this. And so, you know, we're going to do a similar concept, you know, a similar concept. Um, yeah. So this book is actually called The Billboard Guide to Tejano and Regional Mu- Mexican Music. Yeah. And it has all the artists of the industry. And he, by Ramiro he, Burr, man. Uh, this is pretty cool. I don't know if y'all can see this. Can y'all see this? I'm trying to hold it and up. that was given to me by Gustavo Let's Cortez as, yeah. as a birthday gift he has the same copy of a book he's got everybody's signature on there he and got it he got cool. it he got it autographed already and he's already done filled up the book I think he's already got everybody on there wow. now I was I was just uh handed a note before we end the uh, you know the interview um to ask you about the crab story <laughs> Oh man, is it? This is a, a funny story, and this is could, this is this crabs, the little animalitos down there. No, 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 no. no, no. Oh, okay, oh, okay, no, no. yeah. <laughs> no, this is this, this, this is going to be related to Tejano and Tejano musicians. This story, mm-hmm. in and most Tejanos in general. When I was a kid, you know, we lived in Corpus Christi, and we would go on the weekends. My dad. We would go to the pier to get fresh shrimp, flounder, whatever, right? And we walk upon this one guy on a boat, and he's got a crate. Forrest Gump? No, it wasn't oh, Forrest no, Gump. Go ahead, go ahead, go anyway, ahead. he had this crate, and on the crate it said <laughs> Mexican crabs. And my dad's like rubbing his head. He's like, hey, pendejo, 
what the hell's Mexican crabs? Oh, you don't know about Mexican crabs? I'm, my dad's like, no. And this story stuck to me forever and ever and ever. So, if as you're watching these crabs in this crate, one crab crawls up, right? Another crab grabs it and pulls it down. So another one walks up, another crab pulls them down. And that's what's happened with Tejano. We pull each other down, bro. Yeah. Instead of lift, helping, you know, help that brother get over that and get free. Uh, it was a really interesting metaphor of the way we are as musicians and friends and Tejano music. We don't push the other band or, or help each other or, you know, and it was a... I mean, a real eye opener for me as a kid to see that and, and hear that story, and to actually physically see it. You know, I don't know if you've ever seen crabs in a, in a case. One of them will try to walk up or crawl up. Yeah, I worked at Cisco Foods for many years, and so we had to handle the yeah, live crabs man. and everything. It, it, you'll crazy. only see yeah. one grab. You know, the yeah. pinchers will grab and pull the crab down, man. Yeah. And it's just a crazy story. It's, it's just like. Wow. It, it relates to reality in it some does, kind of way man. because it, it, it's like we don't support each other enough. And I'm not saying us, but just everybody in general. True. And that's the sad part about this whole industry. That's why it's gone down. It's now, Tejano to me is more underground than where it was back in the 90s. Right. You know, and it's coming out of that darkness for some reason. And you got people starting bands and there's not a lot of originality i mean i don't know where the concept of their mentality is and stuff like that but yeah, and not only that casper i mean back, i remember back in the day when you had a band you those brothers were your brothers man exactly. they, didn't, they yeah. didn't they didn't play with the other band or yeah. go jump here or jump there yeah, jump they're, here they're jump faithful there. they're yeah. faithful you know they're, i mean it was yeah. man back in the day i mean i could count how many times back in the 90s how many times a musician left to go help somebody else? Yeah. And this, it was just dire straight. Well, but, shit, it happens now. Look what happens to Ram Herrera. Everybody left for Joe yeah. Lopez. And yeah. Ram was on the comeback, you know, because you know, it's been a while. Ram has that. He's had a successful band. But, you know, and, and I'm not trying to say shit about anything, but, you know, it's these artists, you know, they just got up and left, man. The, the band, they yeah. just, you know, and then they're not even with Joe Lopez anymore. I know. The only one that's left is probably Brando and Joaquin Cura. Yeah. But but the, the rest of the original uh, members that were with Ram, se fueron allá con Joe. Yeah. And then things didn't work out over them. Where are they at now? They're, they're just still scrambling to to find a, a home. And yeah, and, and the just... thing about it is this, man. There is no such thing as a superstar backup band member. Right. It's all a team. It is, man. It's all a team. You got your front man, which is the lead vocalist. Right. Everybody comes in to do their part, and and that's what makes a band. Yeah, man. You know, but it's... you got you got, you know, and I'm not gonna put no names out there. I can, but you got these superstar uh, drummers that can say grand superstars, and it, it, it's it's annoying. Yeah. You know, you don't. It's like with me. If I see somebody that I don't care about because he's bragging about how good he is no don't yeah. brag let the people acknowledge you for the talent that you have right you know i and, mean and i'm not the one man i'm i've i'm, I'm always the, been I'm probably, humble I'm, I'm probably the first person that will say man i'm not that good man no. you know i i try I, I do my best but bro but you're still standing for a reason yes sir you're still standing for a reason yes sir if you suck people will boo you off the stage and and probably talk shit about you bro but you're still standing for a reason and that's the god honest truth yeah man you know and I appreciate uh, it. Nah, bro. It's about being humble and being honest and truthful because, bro, you're a very talented man. You worked hard besides all your illnesses and sickness, and you're still sick, you know, and you're making the best to continue to to live and 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 and, and be a part of that legacy that you already are part of, of, of the Canales family. Very and true. it should you should be happy and embrace <laughs> it and 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 say, you know what? Thanks. I needed to hear that, you yeah, know? Man. Because I mean, like I said, a lot of people may not support us and what we're doing, but hey, we're still here for a reason. Yeah, we are, and you know, it's in God's hands, is what I say, man. It's just whatever happens, happens, and and for me personally, I just try every day, man. I just you know, every weekend, you know, I like I said, I've been so blessed. I've been so blessed and honored to play with so many great musicians, great singers. Um, I've had. I, I don't want to say luck. Um, always ended up with good musicians, man. It's just it's unreal. And Dallas me. is full of good musicians. But I'm not putting anybody are. from Dallas down, by the way. I don't want. I know Ozzy Savala. He uh, he's saying uh, there's more to the story than than what you know, bro. I I 
I'm I'm deep within this uh, industry. I, I I pretty much know everything that's happening. Um, yeah. You know, but I've never tried to put down anybody that I don't think that um, you know. It, it, and again, I'm voicing my opinion, but it's a very strong opinion. Uh, I've been in this industry for a very long time. I've got to grow with all the artists of this of this industry and and there's some shady motherfuckers just, just to be uh, honest yeah, there's are. plenty of shady motherfuckers yeah, they, you know? there's, there's but i'm not putting anybody down from dallas ozzy so don't don't uh yeah i mean i could sit here and talk negative about all kinds of people yeah. right now but i choose not to yeah and, and that's the difference between me and others yeah um a lot of times i just keep keep it in i just keep it to myself and i try to brush it off and, and i don't believe in karma it's just you know what They'll find out on their own. Yeah, the know, mistakes that they've done and yeah. and uh, the opportunities that they've, that they lost. Right. You know, and, and that's the way I see it. And, you know, for one man's loss is another man's gain, and that's the way I kind of look at it. So, you know, whatever, whoever I, I've crossed paths with, you know, I I applaud them and I wish them luck, and I don't want no ill will towards them whatsoever. Uh, and there's no need for it. And you know, they can always they can always call me. They can always call me and, and I will help them. It, it you know it doesn't matter how bad it fell apart or, or, or what, if we got an argument or whatever. But I can tell you this: I've never had an argument with any musicians. I've had disagreements, but I've never had arguments with any of musicians in my Career. thirty or forty plus years of being in music. Um, you know, I've had some disappointments, a lot of disappointments. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, but. Yeah. Uh, disappointments is part of life. Um, you have to just dig through it and and survive, man. And like I said, I I just in my heart of hearts, I wish everybody would just be like me. And, and I know that's not possible. Um, the thing about it is is to get along. Yes, man. And, and, and like I said, friendship. There's very few. Very few, man. I mean, I you got more backstabbers, two faced motherfuckers in them. Man, I got. And that's the honest truth right there, man. I, I probably got like a handful of <laughs> friends that I can call yeah. friends, you know. Yeah. Um, and people that I thought were friends weren't friends at all. Oh, man, that's the most disappointing so, part. So, you know, it's it's crazy. But, you know, um, to, in this industry anyway, I mean, it's it should be help one another, not cut each other's yeah. throats, yeah. you know. And and like I said, if anyone out there in the Tahoe land that's listening to us right now or listening to me right now, let me tell you right here, right now. If you ever need anything or help, um, whether it's in, you know what rewiring your sound system or um, you know design of a shirt or cap, man, hit me up. Or know. any kind of recording production yeah, as well. You know, you, know. Um, I, you know, I'm I'm probably the probably the most easiest guy to get along with. Um, I don't talk shit. I don't. Brag, I don't boast. I don't. I mean, I could sit here and probably drop names all day long who I've helped. It's not even worth it, bro. Yeah, you know, so. You're here. You know, they're uh, not. Right. And they're probably struggling and they're going to continue to struggle because, you know what? It's about being positive and focused and, and be real to the game, you know, because that's what this is. <clears throat> I think I think the, 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 the whole entire industry now is like a bunch of drug dealers that don't know how to get along. They're they're taking each other out or they'll walk away and that's that's how it is, man. You know, and every and if you want to feel gangster, be gangster, but do do that shit somewhere else, man. You know, we want to continue this industry to be able to entertain yes, and, and, and to enjoy what we enjoy and that's that's play music and enjoy uh, enjoy the people dance. Yeah, man, that, that's you know that's the, when I see people dancing. Oh yeah, man, I've greatest, accomplished. It's I, the greatest, bro, feeling, it's the greatest ever. feeling, man. It's, it's the greatest like, feeling. It's like it's like taking like five shots of tequila, man. No, no, Wait, no, no for real, for fireball, me, fireball. Oh, fireball. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I understand what you But saying, yeah, yeah, you know, it's it's like I get so. And a lot of times with me, I don't really get to enjoy seeing people dance because I'm communicating with the bass player yeah. or the keyboard player, yeah. you know, and, and I don't really look out and I need to start looking out more and, and acknowledging people. And that, and it's just something that I do. I have to click with my bass player. So, so, so this is the part. You may not be able to acknowledge it, but by you coming back to perform at a same venue, right. other people acknowledge it. Yes, they do. And, 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 and people always say, man, well, how, you know. I don't know how Ari gets so many gigs, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's the same way that I talk to you. It's the same way I talk to the club owners. Um, 
I have respect. I, I, you know, I talk to them and thank them. And, and for me, I've been blessed that way because um, I, without them, you know, I don't have gigs. Yeah. So you can't go to a club and be an asshole. Yeah. And expect to get hired back. Yeah. You know, so I try to always bring the, the best I can bring um, to a club. You know, this rarely once, maybe twice, where just everything went to shit. Yeah. You know, I'm like, oh my god! Like the, at the last minute, I know there's been s- several occasions that your accordion player, or just an example, you know, I'm not, you know, calling anybody out, but or they can't make it, or they went to go play at another right. with another band, and no matter what, you always pull through. You come through. You you you, you perform. You bring the A game to the table, and that's what matters. Yeah, that's 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 the part where I say I'm I'm blessed, man. I'm I'm I can call. Pick up the phone, and nine out of ten times, those guys will say yes. Um, I'm there. I got you, I'm like man. You know, and it's man, it's a, it's a great feeling. And that's where it shows where everything that you've done has paid off. Yeah, it, to it, have people to come back and support you yeah, and man, say, it's, it's "Hey, man, crazy. I got you." You know, it works you know, both ways, yeah, man. You know, but. even even my boy Ray Reyna. I mean, he'll he'll call me and and, and uh, you know he's. He'll call and say, "Hey, uh, you know, I can't find a drummer or whatever." I'm like, "Oh, damn, Ray! Uh, All right, man." See, I'll but do that's it. the brotherhood that you yeah. guys have, you know. Yeah, that's the brotherhood, you know. That's something that another example. Ray Reno, very talented. Yes, Our A one. You guys have been on the same road, same years, worked together many, many nights, you know. And and you guys are still standing. Yeah, man. You know? Yeah, and it's it, like I said, it takes a lot of work, bro. It's 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 not just. I know the people when they come to the shows, they they see everything set up, but they don't know what's actually it takes to get there. The work, yeah, the yeah, work behind I mean, it. It's, there's a lot of hours, a lot of time, a lot so of money. Let's but. go ahead and uh, start winding this down, yeah, man. Um, I just want to say thank you, bro, for for taking time to come out here. I know you were half asleep, now you're wide awake. <laughs> but but you know what woke you up? Talking about your family. Yeah, man. That's what I noticed. You know, talking about your pops, yeah. talking about Lauda, talking about Johnny Canales, you know, and everything that you've done for the industry. That's that woke you up and it brought back those 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 heartwarming uh, uh, memories. Yeah, man. It, it's like it's always fun to talk yeah. about it. And, and, and I hope your viewers out there listening that they enjoyed, you know, our talks today. Yeah. Um, I know there'll be many, many more to come. Yeah, many more. And uh, also, I like like I said, I like before we close, I like to invite everyone out. You know, come check out um, the March 5th at Dino's Live. Mm-hmm. But definitely the Robbie's. Robbie's. March 12th, Robbie's. It's going to be on. It's going to be spectacular. Um, I'm going to try to do some extra, extra things. To Just make do it, it, man. Make Just that do day it. A, a, a super badass day. Yeah. Um, and welcome Rick back to Dallas, Texas, man. That's right. Well, once again, my brother, thanks so much for hanging out with thank us, you, man. Thank you, brother. Thank Always. you, Denise, for being patient and laughing over here in the background. Uh, <laughs> thank you for everything that you do as well. You know, we need to recognize you as well, you know, for all the years that, like I said, that you've been a part of, uh, you know, with RA and stuff. And uh, thank you for taking care of them. You yeah, know? thank you, thank you, thank you. But so we're going to go ahead and wrap this up, everybody. Thank you guys for joining us right here on Revolution Radio, DFW.com. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, save this, and we're going to upload it on uh, YouTube. So in case you guys uh, didn't get a chance to uh, check out this interview, you guys can go ahead and check it out on on, on our other social media outlets. So we're going to go ahead and shut it down also here for today. Make sure you tune in tomorrow morning right here on the all-brand-new morning show with Carlos DJ Casper Vasquez, 7 o'clock a.m. So make sure you join me right here tomorrow morning, Taco Tuesday, and... Uh, Let's go get uh, our sweets on and oh, coffee. Yeah, man. You know, we're going to go out to eat right now. So <laughs> so thanks a lot once again for hanging out with us. We're going to wrap it up right here. Al estilo de Rick Acosta right here on RevolutionRadioDFW.com. Take care. God bless. We'll see you all tomorrow morning.
Pop 